Peace and power to everyone. Welcome back, YouTube family. Welcome to all my new viewers and subscribers. Um, I'm just on today, sharing information as usual. I'm trying to get back in the habit of actually learning something every day. Um, with that being said, I would like y'all to learn something new every day too. So um, let's dig into some of this stuff. Okay, so um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Styles by Nina on YouTube. Also, you can go to my homepage. This is my PayPal donate button. So if you click here, you can donate um, to the cause. You know, um, I work from home. And... It's either this or that, and I'm choosing you. Uh oh, and this is a donate. Let me Hold on, y'all. No, I don't usually click these links, so. Okay, and this is something new, of course. Let's thank PayPal. Hey, PayPal. Yeah. Um. This is something new, of course. So, um. I'm going to go and check that out. I might just remove it all together. Thank you to those of you who have donated. Shout out to you, um, um, sister in Louisiana, and also my sister, of course. <laughs> Thank y'all for donating. And I'll never forget it. Y'all were my um, first and only. So I'm going to shout y'all out from time to time. Um, let's go over here to my Twitter. Don't forget to go over to Twitter and follow me. I'm Urban Intellectual at Styles by Nina. And I know y'all missing my face. Um, I shall return to the screen shortly. It's just like I said, I am in the process of taking down my hair. Um, don't forget to go over to Instagram, Styles by Nina LLC. I was sun gazing after I worked out. <laughs> <laughs> wretchedness um yeah it was so hot it's like not some degrees I'm growing back my eyebrows don't be petty um we melanated sisters that we go to others to shape our eyebrows and they had shaped them to the thinnest this was just it and I'm like let me just leave them alone I don't care how long it takes for them to grow back. I won't be touching them until I get a full brow. Um, just sharing. This is some of the stuff that I share on my YouTube. I want to, I mean, on my Instagram. I want to go over here because it's funny. Shout out to all the ladies that have went natural and took their husbands or dudes with them. <laughs> That's exactly how it happens. Um, this is something that I posted this morning. Um, poor communication equals broken relationships. Um, it's, we communicate, um, us middle-aged people communicate poorly with each other. Um, everybody's grown into it's time to act like an adult, right? Uh, this was funny to me, so I reposted it. <laughs> oh, this is what I wanted to share, so join me. Um...
I'm working. So. Go. I'm gonna let this play while I talk, of course. Um, now, it's an artificial womb. So you can grow your baby in an incubator at home. And the question I asked, you know, was, um, shout out to Calamity Jane. Y'all go over to Instagram and follow her. Um, she's also the remnant on YouTube. Y'all follow and subscribe. But um, we were having a conversation. And she said she wouldn't be surprised if it's already on the market under a different name and description, right? And my cousin, she said it might just be on the market. And then my homegirl was like, you know, when I'm thinking, this is just this disproved. Disproved, and he said, "Well, this is disturbing." And University of Being, shout out to you, sister. Thank you for all the support. You always brighten my day. Um, she was saying that this may have turned off her computer yesterday, and as we know, this means they're already dealing with this shameful behavior. And she said, "Check out Gen Pets, also a product to show they're playing with nature." Um, my thing is like, what if something else grows in there? What are you going to do? So creepy. Now they always talk about something happening in the future. So I'm going to take, um, follow my homegirl's lead, the remnant. Every time she reads something, um, she also looks up the etymology so let's do it um and y'all read along I'm just pulling it up shedding light and read a couple future events time to come late 14th century model on Latin futura neuter plural of futurus Okay, whatever that means. Late 14th century, that is yet to be pertaining to a time after the present. Um, from old French future to come, from Latin future, risk going to be yet to be. As a noun, the future irregular, suppletive future participle of S to be. From Pyru to be. Exist, grow in grammar and tense from the 15 20s. Goods sold on agreement for future delivery. So let's go here. Let's fall down this hole. Okay, so we're going to go back. And, um, sis, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and share the email that you sent me as well. Um, she's just it's always on it. <laughs> Even when I'm tired, she's like, yeah, I've been in a rabbit hole. And this is what I was saying. Everybody grown until it's time to communicate or apologize. This is so true. Like hashtag facts, right? Right. Y'all. My friend made me this chicken sandwich and it was the bomb. Friend, I hope you don't mind putting you on blast. I mean, it was the bomb. Blew my mind. 
And says, give a man a degree and he eats for his lifetime. Give a man a business and his family eats for generations. Um, we have to start sharing memes that relate directly to us. Um, this was just me um, sharing the etymology of Jesus or Jesus. I didn't see somebody coming. Okay. Shout out to Lady7647. Thank you for all the love and support, sister. Um, you're another person that brightens my day. Thank you for communicating. Um, let me know that you're out there. This was something else I shared. I haven't did all this sharing in so long. And these are um this is my shout out to those of us um that are supporting their own and supporting small businesses. No one is above correction. We have to hold each other accountable to make sure everyone is doing their part to strengthen the team, which is team melanated. Shout out to those spending your dollars in your community. We see you. We see you. Thank you. We see you. Thank you. Thank you for all your support. Um if you're not spending with me, somebody else, just thank you. This is another heavy hitter from a hometown. You know, David Banner said, he spoke on the Brock Newman show a few weeks ago, my brother made, that brother said, you got two choices. You can attack them through violence, and you can attack them through money. Now, everybody's not afraid to kill each other, but we seem to be afraid to kill a clear and open enemy. So if you ain't going to take them M16s, them Kuklista calls, and all this other stuff that you rap about, killing each other with it, if you're not going to take them to the streets, then at least to my rappers and my entertainers, help these people direct their money in a way. If you're going to buy a wing, stop asking Rick Ross on it first. If you're going to go to Chick-fil-A, just go to one in Green Brown Cat Creek. But don't allow a dollar of your money to leave your community again and to these dogs that ask for your vote. To these dogs that ask for your money and to these dogs come begging for you to get back into their economic system. Don't you spend a dollar. If you're going to buy some hair, buy it out of a trunk. Don't do that and the worst that happened is your fault. You know, David Banner said that he spoke on the Brock Woman show a few weeks ago. My brother, man, that brother said you got two choices. You can attack them through violence and you can attack them through money. Now, everybody's not afraid to kill each other. Ooh, do some me jump roping, y'all. I ain't even gonna play. It's too much bouncing. <laughs> um, shout out to my customers. Um, just sharing my work, you know, you know. Halito, I'm gonna make this quick. Indigenous Americans, we are not from Africa, Asia, Europe, or Australia. We are from America. We are the original autochton, and that's not to say that those people may not have mixed in with us in prehistoric times, but it is making a distinction. And in fact, you'll realize, Halito, I'm going to make this quick. Indigenous. Oh. Um, um, this is the video I shared yesterday. I've been studying you and your buying habits. This is to anybody supporting these people. This is who owns it works. These people just spent 540. These people just bought islands. And um, I was having a conversation out loud, of course, with my cousin who is promoting this stuff like it's hers. Um, and I was just simply saying, stop supporting these people. And she said, well, why not use them and, you know, start your own? And I'm just like, first of all, they made $530 million. Everybody that you see that are selling for them are mostly melanated people. And who are these people? You know, these are your colonizers, invaders. Stop supporting their businesses. And it's like, we think we're above correction, no. If I see you, I'm going to call you out. You're, nobody's above correction. If you see me, call me out. Um, Nothing but love to you. Um, But I ain't having it. I'm not standing for it. Stop supporting It Works. Don't buy any of their stuff. 
um, these are colonizers who inhabited those islands before they were able to purchase them. What happened to them? Um, who are these people? What's their family history? We have to start asking questions. We support everybody but our own. And once I said that I do have my own product, um, it was total silence. You know, so, yeah. Oh, I'm just I'm sharing, venting and sharing and sharing and venting. And keep in mind, this is a business page. Me and my business reflect the same opinion, um, which is go home, give us our land back, do us right, see you later. Uh, that's what we support. And if I sell something in the process, I'm all for it. But you're not going to be like, oh, most people say, well, you should just have a personal page and then have a business page. No, I'm not hiding behind my business. I'm right here. I've learned. And I got that whip. <laughs> Teach you some whip, okay? <laughs> She said, her, her baby, her nephew had to step off his mom by to stop calling the police. They not helping no one. Um, shout out to the the so called good police. I just don't know. I have a cousin that works in law enforcement. She's actually the captain <laughs> in a state I cannot disclose, but. Um, shout out to her. Sorry, my phone is my neighbor. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Y'all go over to Instagram. I'm looking for that heat on this online. <laughs> uh, let's go back up page. Okay, just trying to see. This is the UN peacekeepers. This is what they do. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Get some of them. Motherfuckers giving out free hugs and 
they human beings too. Do you see this shit? So what human beings do you know that's your skin color that keep doing shit like this? Well, I'll wait. And I'm not talking about no fucking black on black crime because we didn't already solve that motherfucking issue. Ain't no such thing as motherfucking black on black crime. It has to be everything else. Motherfucking white on white, Asian on Asian, and all that other shit. This is what we going to do. This is what we going to watch. We going to continue to watch it. And then they showing it. We don't have to do any reenactments. They showing this shit. It's live. On camera. Planting weapons. Experiments. You know what I mean? All type of experiments. On our people. And we have to sit. We going to sit. I'm up for a bunch of motherfuckers. Going to sit here and comment. And, and go to work Monday. And go to work Tuesday. We can't get. Gonna go Monday and Tuesday, right? Shout out to you, Shadidi twenty six, bringing this truth. That check feels better when you don't have to sell your soul for it. Shout out to whoever posted that. something funny
All right, y'all. Mm. Oh. Trying to see, we see part one. Let's go see, and then we gotta get out of here. Here's part one. Y'all, that's enough for the ground. I'm just sharing. Oh, we've been on that 30 minutes. It's time to go. Okay, so we're out of there. I'm gonna close it out too. Okay, so um going on. Let's just clean the computer.
Okay, and I have no um idea what I was talking about last. So, so I'm gonna move forward. I wanted to share um what's on my timeline. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm not gonna make this too long. Um let's just see. Well, we haven't used this in a long time, so let's just check this out together. He is Australia's most senior Catholic and as head of the Catholic Church worldwide's finances, the third highest ranking official at the Vatican. Now, after a year long investigation, Cardinal Pell is also the most senior Catholic to stand accused of sexual abuse. Cardinal Pell is facing multiple charges in respect to historic sexual offences and there are multiple complaints relating to those charges. The police have not yet made clear exactly what those charges are, nor when nor where the alleged crimes took place. The accusations against Cardinal Pell emerged as an inquiry was underway in Australia between 2013 and 2016 into institutional responses to childhood sexual abuse. During that, more than 4,000 people said that as children, they had been abused by people in the Catholic Church or its institutions. The inquiry revealed that allegations had been made against 7% of all those who'd been Catholic priests between 1950 and 2010. As a boy, Damien DeMarco was one of those abused. In the decades since, he's worked to expose the failure of organisations to protect children. I'm aware of quite a lot of kids who have died from suicide or drug overdose. And people who are still serious drug addicts on the street, there's, there's, uh, yeah, it does a lot of damage. During the inquiry, Cardinal Pell, who had risen through the Australian Catholic Church's ranks to become Archbishop of Melbourne and then Sydney, was accused of covering up the abuse of others. He gave evidence from the Vatican via video link, saying he was too ill to travel to Australia to do so in person. It was as the inquiry was underway that men came forward to say Cardinal Pell himself had abused them as children. Police flew to the Vatican to interview him last October, and by charging him, it's clear they think the evidence is strong enough to be tested in court. Cardinal Pell at the Vatican said after two years of what he called relentless character assassination, he welcomed the chance to defend himself formally. I'm looking forward finally to having my day in court. Uh, I'm innocent of these charges. They are false. The whole idea of sexual abuse is abhorrent to me. Cardinal Pell is required to appear in court in Australia on the 18th of July. A spokesman for the Pope said he'd learned with regret of the charges and had granted Cardinal Pell a leave of absence to defend himself. <laughs> right. <laughs>
this morning, if you are not near your TV, do me a favor, take a second, come on over, you have to see this. This is kind of one of those only in Florida stories. This guy right here, wearing women's underwear, maybe even a women's swimsuit bottom, spotted in a parking lot, tying women's pantyhose to cars. Look, you don't need me to tell you this, guys. That's just really strange behavior. But it's what Flagler, Flagler County deputies say this guy was doing in a Home Depot parking lot. Even stranger, it's apparently not the first time that he's tied pantyhose to cars. The sheriff wants to identify the man before his crimes escalate further. An FBI agent indicted, accused of lying to investigators about his role in the shooting death of LaVoy Finnegan. It's 11 o'clock. Good evening, I'm Jeff Tino. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. You may remember Finnegan was a leader in last year's Mount Hill Wildlife Refuge takeover when an Oregon State trooper killed him near John Day after Finnegan drove away during a traffic stop. Our Andrew Dimberter is going beyond the headlines now, but even though that FBI agent who's in trouble didn't fire the deadly shot, Andrew, he's still facing charges. Yeah, that's right. Special Agent Joseph Astorita, when he fired those shots, they didn't even hit Lavoy Finicum, but he lied about it and then tried to cover it up, according to investigators, leading some to now question all of the events that transpired that day. The checks and balances are completely out of whack here, and as a result, good people are sitting behind bars while criminals who shoot um, at American citizens on our paycheck are walking free. Over a year has passed since Lavoy Finnicum, one of the leaders in the Malheur Wildlife Refuge takeover, was shot and killed by authorities. And today, an FBI agent is facing five felony charges for lying about his role in the shooting. Specifically, Special Agent Astorita falsely stated he did not fire his weapon during the attempted arrest of Mr. Finnicum, when in fact, he did. According to court documents obtained by Coin6, Special Agent Joseph Astorita was part of the FBI's hostage rescue team, or HRT, during the occupation. The actions of the FBI HRT in this case damaged the integrity of the entire law enforcement profession. Court documents allege that Agent Astorita lied and said he had not fired his weapon in the standoff with Finnicum when he knew that he did. We found possible criminal conduct by some involved. FBI HRT agents. The shots Astorita fired are believed to have missed, and it was an OSP trooper that killed Finnicum. After Finnicum disobeyed officers during a traffic stop, crashed into an embankment, got out of his vehicle, and reached for a gun, according to investigators. So officials say the accusations against Agent Astorita does not change the ruling that the overall shooting was justified. Kelly Stewart is a family friend to LaVoy Finnecom. I've spoken to Jeanette Finnecom. She believes law enforcement isn't being fully transparent. They hid the <coughs> shots were fired, and, um, and here we've waited 17 months just for a simple indictment to come down. And although Astorita is facing charges that carry penalties up to 55 years in prison, Stewart thinks it's not enough. The fact that uh, his indictment isn't conspiracy to impede a federal investigation, attempted murder, and obstruction of justice, um, to me, is, shows that justice is still not being served. And Jennifer Jeff, investigators wouldn't say whether other FBI agents would be charged in the near future. You're following some breaking news from the live desk. Yeah, I was following this the minute I woke up this morning. This is something else that's happening right now from the live desk. A Chandler police officer recovering after being shot with an arrow. It happened at a home near McClintock and Chandler Boulevard. Look, that, look at the uh, arrow right there in the middle of the street. Now, officers were originally called to the home on Taylor Street for a welfare check. Concerned family members asking that officers go check on their loved one. They found the man on the roof wearing a Kevlar vest. Officers say he then shot an arrow, striking an officer right in the arm. That officer was taken to the hospital. We're told that he's going to be okay. The suspect was eventually taken into custody. Here's another twist in all of this. The suspect, according to officers on the scene, has been identified as Thomas Leeper Jr. He's no stranger to police. Leeper was indicted last year on arson and endangerment charges in a string of arson fires in West Chain. Trial for that case in September. So you mean to tell me, even after an officer was shot with an arrow, these people still were able to talk him down and arrest him. No harm done. 
All right, I just want to point that out. So y'all know where this is where this is going. YouTube control and censorship. Um, it's funny because it's supposed to be coming down on YouTube, and then now somebody's been, you know. for U.S. visas under the travel ban emerging late Wednesday. The State Department cable seen by Reuters saying applicants from six Muslim-majority countries and all refugees must show close family or business ties to be granted access to the United States. The guidelines cover citizens of Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen, all of them named in President Donald Trump's March 6 executive order, which was partially restored by the Supreme Court this week. The cable says close family does not include extended relatives like grandparents or cousins. Trump's order also set up a 120-day block on refugee entry, but this week's court order says the ban doesn't apply to those with a bona fide relationship with the U.S. entity, meaning people with things like student visas or certain job offers are exempt. But the memo is unclear on a key question for American refugee agencies, whether their efforts helping people overseas count as bona fide ties. The ban is set to last over the summer before the court takes up the case in full this fall. Trump is making a quick pivot from health care to immigration. That's right. Today, the president targeted undocumented immigrants who commit violent crimes in the so-called sanctuary cities he accuses of harboring them. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan has late details on the president's other signature agenda item, Dave. And it's moving fast. Vote coming tomorrow on this. During a week when the Republican health care plan hit the skids, President Trump is changing the subject tonight to immigration and some tough new bills going after centuries, sanctuary cities, many of which are in California, and the House vote is scheduled for tomorrow. One of the pillars of Donald Trump's campaign for president was hammering away at violent illegal immigrants whom he accused of bringing drugs, crime, and rape to America. It's a theme President Trump has carried over into the opening months of his... <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. This is what happened when I watch the news on that. It's just like, so he accused immigrants, to which he is one, of bringing violence, rape, and let's just hear it. Again. Into immigration and some tough new bills going after centuries, sanctuary cities, many of which are in California, and the House vote is scheduled for tomorrow. One of the pillars of Donald Trump's campaign for president was hammering away at violent illegal immigrants whom he accused of bringing drugs, crime, and rape to America. Drugs, crime, and rape. Well, it's a true statement. Himself and all the other Europeans and, you know, we're not just going to say Europeans. We say Europeans a lot because Europeans think they're American. Um, the Webster Dictionary 1828 says American is the copper colored races found here by Columbus, but now applies to the European. So we know but now means y'all, well, I'm not going to say y'all, but it means that 
the Europeans are now trying to climb American status. You will never be American. You're not from here. You need to go home. He needs to go home. Everybody who's at his rallies need to go home. It 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 blows my mind to see immigrants talk about immigrants. Immigrants reporting on immigrants. Because these reporters are immigrants too. Y'all illegally came here and stole the whole country. Stole a whole country. And you did bring rape, violence, what is it, crimes? Yeah, y'all brought all that. We all murdered our ancestors. And I'm not going to go into a tangent, but it's just ironic that the immigrants don't want any more immigrants here. The aborigine here, I mean, aborigine of America, we want y'all to go home. We want everybody to go home. Y'all have destroyed our whole vibe here. And we know y'all ain't going to leave. That's the sad part. You'll never say we did that and we're going to leave. It's a theme President Trump has carried over into the opening months of his administration, like this at a rally in Iowa last week about an illegal immigrant gang operating in the U.S. Every single day, we are finding these gang members, these drug dealers, thieves, robbers, predators, criminals, killers, horrible killers. And we are throwing them the hell out of our country. Fear can be an effective running mate. It worked in 2016. And on Thursday, the House of Representatives, at the urging of the president, is expected to debate and pass a series of bills that would, among other things, require pretrial detention, presumably without bail, for undocumented immigrants who are accused of killing someone. Tomorrow, the House will vote on the no sanctuary for Criminals Act. It's been in the works for a long time. People have wanted it. To highlight the action, President Trump did allow... My new question is, since it's going to be voted on tomorrow, does this include all the immigrants, including Europeans? Because what they're talking about now is, you know, immigrants, they're trying to say... It's funny. Word games. And then, are you going to start chasing out those that look like yourself and prosecuting them? Or are you just going to target a group like I do? Like I do. Study a group. Target a group. Over and over again, right? The cameras in when he met at the White House with family members who lost loved ones in crimes committed by immigrants who were in the country illegally. Among those attending the meeting was Jamil Shaw, who campaigned for President Trump. Shaw's son, a Los Angeles high school football star, was gunned down in cold blood by a gang member who was in the country illegally. In 2008, uh, my son Jamil Shaw, we called him Jazz, was murdered by a legal alien that was on his third gun charge. He was in the L.A. County Jail. President Trump says the bills to be voted on Thursday will force so-called sanctuary cities, many of which are in California, to fully cooperate with ICE or pay the price. Which will cut federal grant money to cities that shield dangerous criminal aliens from being turned over to federal law enforcement. Both the LAPD and the L.A. County Sheriff's Department deny they refuse to cooperate in turning over dangerous and violent criminals to the feds. But the bigger question may be whether undocumented immigrants are responsible for a wave of violent crime like the president has indicated. And a study in March from the Cato Institute, a libertarian think tank, concluded they are not. In fact, the researchers found that both legal and illegal immigrants have in incarceration rates far below the rates of native-born Americans, in some cases only one-third of the native-born rate. Now you see how now they're coming after you. Now you're claiming that you're native-born here. They say, well, hey, the people that are born here are more violent than we are. You know what I'm saying? Like, what world stage are we at? Sometimes I feel like we're on another planet. 
Now, the bills are expected to pass the House tomorrow, but the Senate may be a tougher fight. Republicans have only a slim majority in the Senate, as we know, and eight Democratic votes would be required procedurally to shut off debate and bring the bills to a vote. Jeff, Elsa, back to you. We have team coverage of uh, the northern parts of our viewing area that are seeing those flash flood warnings. From one action news meteorologist, we go to our teams live from their vote. Hey guys, so uh, just within the last really five minutes, the wind has really picked up and we are just getting pounded here with wind and rain. So right now we're still on U Highway. We're actually on the bridge here. This is 102 River that is below me. Uh, we're going to pan out here just over my right shoulder. You can see that the uh, water is just really pushing there and it's moving very fast. So uh, back behind, I don't know if you can see that though, there is a grill. That is somebody's backyard and it looks like also there may have been an area where they could sit down but obviously uh, today and possibly into this weekend that's not going to be an option until we do get this water to uh, go down. But I want to point out though that we are in a rural area so a farming area here and we have these ditches which is what you see below and and uh, th that water, as it's rising and as it's cresting, it does not have anywhere to go. So water, it's going to find a way. It's going to go into those ditches and to the lowest point, which unfortunately is this road here on U Highway. Uh, with hey. You can see areas before where it looks like the, it was completely covered, but that's not the case now. But it's now turning into uh, more of a... Um, wind and rain situation here because we're just getting pounded uh, with the wind and rain. Guys, Evening, armed robbery in Brooklyn. The suspect is seen entering a front gate and pointing a gun at a woman standing in a courtyard outside her home in East New York last Wednesday. Police said a man ran off with the 20-year-old woman's purse and cell phone. She was not hurt. Iraqi troops have made fresh gains in their operation to fully liberate northern cities. So they have captured the Amuri Mosque, in which the Hajj leader Abu Bakr al Baghdadi declared uh -huh. Caliphate three years ago. This comes just one day after the forces seized two other neighborhoods in the old city of Mosul. Sorry, y'all. We don't cite words. The federal report says that the majority of hate crimes committed after a 12 year period in the U.S. have not been reported to police. The report released by the Bureau of Justice Statistics suggests that most of the hate crimes that occurred between 2004 and 2015 were handled some other way. Protesters have barricaded roads in the Venezuelan capital Caracas, calling on President Nicolas Maduro to step down. The demonstrators rallied despite the rain, halting the traffic, especially in the east of the city. Police were seen firing tear gas in a bid to disperse the people. China's President Xi Jinping has arrived in Hong Kong to mark two decades of Chinese rule over the region, handed back to Beijing by. Good job. This is Xi's first official visit to Hong Kong as president. She is expected to visit a Chinese military base in Hong Kong during his three-day stay. A controversial travel ban ordered by U.S. President Donald Trump uh, had and confirmed by the Supreme Court is expected to come into effect on in Thursday. The Homeland Department has announced that it is working with the State and Justice Departments to implement the order that affects the people from six Muslim-majority countries. The British Prime Minister Theresa May's government is facing a vote of confidence three weeks after a disastrous election. These are the countries that do not have the Federal Reserve involved in their finances. Those are the countries that are being targeted. ...which left her authority in tatters and her Brexit strategy in doubt. Members of the House of Commons are set to vote later Thursday on the Conservative leader's legislative plans. Qatar has slammed Saudi Arabia for its refusal to negotiate the demands presented to Doha for ending a crippling embargo on the small Persian Gulf state. Qatari Foreign Minister Mohammed bin Abdurrahman dismissed the Saudi position as unacceptable, saying, Riyadh's actions run counter to the principles of international relations. The ABC 15 Live does Phoenix police officers investigating a deadly shooting. They believe this one all started with a fight in front of a house. And the homeowner not involved in this as you look at the images. This is where you can see the officers at the scene near 107th Avenue in Lower Buckeye. Several people involved in this one and a single shot was fired. That's when the homeowner called police. We know a man did die. Another was taken to the hospital because that person was badly beaten. 
So far, no arrests have been made. As soon as we have a description of the shooter, we will, of course, turn that around and get that to you right away. And right now in Pinellas Park, a man wanted for breaking into a home with kids inside is finally in custody. It took hours to get the man into handcuffs. News Channel 8's Ryan Hughes. He is live along 76th Avenue. Ryan, police had a search far and wide before they finally found this guy. Spell it. Well, good morning once again. They spent hours beginning at 10 o'clock last night to try to find uh -huh. him. And they did inside an attic at one of the units here in uh -huh. Pinellas Park. Here's the backstory. Uh -huh. Video from our NBC station in Miami shows Usamel Carvial and another man breaking down the door of a home in southwest Miami-Dade. Around a week ago, investigators explained they posed as police officers to steal money in that home. A family, including three kids, were sleeping. No one was hurt. Then police in Pinellas Park got information that Carvial was at an apartment along 76th Avenue North. They went to serve a search warrant. This was the scene as they looked around many apartments and eventually found him trying to avoid being caught. Listen here. We conducted a thorough search of not just that apartment, but multiple apartments inside the building. Uh, it took several hours, but we were able to locate the subject in the rafters uh, in the apartment complex uh, in one of the buildings, and we were able to take him into custody successfully. SWAT members were on scene, and of course, many people who live around here had to leave their homes and their apartments as they searched, but they're all back in them this morning, Marco. Yeah, and I can't even imagine. U.S.-backed Iraqi forces say they've taken an iconic mosque in the heart of Mosul that was destroyed by ISIS. Its recapture comes three years to the day after ISIS declared its so-called caliphate. Leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi later spoke from the pulpit of the mosque. The landmark was heavily damaged by ISIS a week ago. The extremist group is also facing setbacks in Raqqa, its stronghold in Syria. Holly Williams is in northern Syria, where she met with the American commander in the fight against ISIS in Syria and in Iraq. Holly, good morning. Good morning. Lieutenant General Stephen Townsend is the commander of the U.S.-led US -led coalition to fight ISIS. And we met with him yesterday at a U.S. military logistics base here in northern Syria. Townsend came straight from a Ford command post near Raqqa. Hi, Holly. It's good to see you again. The city ISIS calls its capital, where U.S.-backed fighters launched an assault this month, assisted by American airstrikes. I think we're in the, actually the first uh, 25 or 30 percent of the campaign for Raqqa. We're just getting started good in Raqqa. American troops have been welcomed in this corner of Syria. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> right? We all know <laughs> whether they are welcomed or not, <laughs> they're not gonna leave. Uh, we're as of right now, um, Aborigines of America. The definition, the Webster's Dictionary, 1828 definition of miracle is the copper colored race is found here by Columbus and. It's just like we're prison support. So can you imagine a fresh place where they're just going in trying to take off? It's going to be so much bloodshed. It is crazy. And since they're being funny, I'm going to be funny. Let's see. They said they were welcomed. One whose coming suits another's will or wish. So that's what they mean by welcome. One who's coming suits another's will or wish. Y'all, I enjoy this with you all. Um, I am. Um, Gonna get on up out of here. It's been a whole hour I've spent with you all. Peace and power to you. I hope everyone enjoys your week. It's almost over. I hope you've enjoyed your week, but it's almost over. And I'm out of here.